This video is an instructional on how to best safely unpack vitrified ova from the cryoport shipper and place them into your inventory. The keys to doing this without damaging the vitrified ova are, first, use the correct size styrofoam box for transferring ova to your storage device. This box must be large enough so that the device is never lifted into the air. Second, fill the shipper with liquid nitrogen prior to removal of the canister. And third, always keep the device that contains the OVA, the Cryoleaf or Cryotech or Cryolock, under liquid nitrogen. Do not transfer the device even briefly through air, as the temperature only has to warm to around minus 110 degrees for damaging recrystallization to occur. In order to move the shipped OVA into your storage system, you will first need to prepare canes. Pre-label each cane for storage of your patient's OVA. Do not stack two goblets on one cane. Use only one goblet per cane and then use another goblet or a vial as a top in order to keep the devices from floating. The bottom goblet should be cut one inch short so that it will be easier to both identify and remove the devices later. If the devices that are shipped are cryotex, you can store four cryoteps in a standard large goblet. This means for six or seven ova, you can usually fit them in one cane. So prepare one cane. If the device that is being used for shipment is a cryoleaf, you will need to use one goblet for each cryoleaf. As on each cryoleaf there are usually two ova, this means for the standard three to four devices or cryoleafs that are shipped, you will need to prepare three to four canes for each of these shipments. Now you need to set up a transfer box to transfer the devices from the shipping goblets into your storage goblets. First you'll need a styrofoam box or some sort of tall doer or similar container for transferring each device into the storage goblets. This box or container should one, hold the shipping goblet, two, hold the storage goblets, and three, be tall enough and contain enough liquid nitrogen to be about half again as tall as the goblets. For example, this means that in most cases, it sh you should have at least eight inches of liquid nitrogen. This will allow you to safely move the devices into the storage containers. For most devices, this box must be about eight inches tall and be completely filled with liquid nitrogen. Never attempt transferring the devices through air. Open the box using a sharp object, cut the tape at the seams, lift up the flaps and remove the small lid which contains your paperwork. This rectangular box will contain the summary of record and all the other information pertaining to those OVA. Below this cardboard lid, you should see a thermocouple probe going into the tank, a white plug, and two black straps. One of the straps goes to the white plug, the other goes to a lifter. Grab the black strap connected to the white plug, and while holding the other strap down, remove the white plug. You will now see a string connected to a sock. Slowly raise the lifter that is attached to the other black strap, and without lifting it up too high, remove the sock. You can now see the canister. Remove the canister lid. This should be easy to accomplish by using some four steps to stick into the holes on the top. Do not attempt to remove the goblets yet. One of the most important things that must be done prior to removal of the devices into your inventory is to refill the shipping tank with liquid nitrogen. Failure to do this or failure to do it correctly could result in the destruction of the OVA. First fill a container with liquid nitrogen and use this to fill the shipping tank. You may need up to two liters. Do not use a liquid nitrogen hose by inserting it into the tank and then opening the valve. This will result in injecting very warm nitrogen into the tank, thus warming the devices and causing recrystallization, possibly destroying the eggs. Now pull on the black strap connected to the metal lifter. Be sure that your transfer box is very close to the shipper. Now raise the goblets. Grab the center goblet or you can even move the entire canister 
in quickly into the previously prepared transfer box. At this point, the devices should be moved into the new goblet with cooled tongs. All this should be done below the level of liquid nitrogen. A top should be placed on the top of the storage goblet to keep them from floating. This top can be either a cryovial or another goblet turned upside down. At this point, the storage goblets should contain liquid nitrogen and have a top on them. They can now be quickly moved into their storage loca locations. Remember, the most important steps for this technique are to never expose the cryo devices to ambient air.